Catch University, we believe in two things. We want to transform catchers and we want to create leaders. And so when we're trying to transform catchers, we like to call it the science of catching. So we talk about the nuts and bolts of receiving and blocking and throwing and what those core fundamentals are and then what the drills that we, are, that we use are to help establish and master those core fundamentals. And then we talk about the art of catching, which is a lot more leadership centered, it's more management centered because catching is also a leadership position on the field. And so we want to use that, that necessity of leadership to help teach our catchers you know, how to be good leaders, how to be great teammates, and, and all the things that go into being a great leader. So we talk about a drill called torso adjust, and so we use that for blocking, and it's a very simple drill. A lot of our drills are fairly simple, but they can scale to any level, and those are the our favorite kind of drills where we can start no matter where they're at, but we can also make it as difficult as we need it to be for a catcher that's at an elite level. And so torso adjust, we get them started with, with their blocking position, and then we teach them how to, how to like use your chest to make adjustments and keep the ball close. Um, we also talked about with throwing, we talked about using a three-step transfer and throw progression where we teach them the proper footwork, we teach them the proper exchange with their hands, and then we, we use a three-part progression where they start with a little bend in their knees and then they get in their, their catching stance and then we throw the ball to them so that they can practice the fundamentals we're teaching them in a slower, more controlled environment, and then we ramp up the speed and ramp up the reaction time so it becomes a lot more game-like. You know, on the baseball side of things, the catcher, you know, pitchers touch the ball every play as well, but pitchers come and go out of the game. The catcher stays in there. So the catcher literally touches the ball um, every pitch. The catcher is the only one looking at the field. So oftentimes other positions will have their back turned to the play. Catchers are the only ones that can see the whole thing. Just the way the game of baseball is designed, a lot of the nuts and bolts kind of flow through the catcher. And so it's really important that your catcher is fundamentally sound if you want to have a good baseball team. And then when it comes to the leadership piece of it, especially with the young catchers, um, we always need good leaders. And you can have all different kinds of personality types, but if a catcher's wearing the catcher's gear, they need to learn what it means to be a leader for their team and to be a great teammate. And the more as coaches that we can pour into young catchers and teach them leadership skills that are going to help them not only excel on the field as a catcher, but also whether they realize it or not off the field as leaders, the more we can do that as coaches, the more we're making a difference because the reality is not many of our guys are going to play beyond high school. Even less are going to play beyond that, but they're all going to be professional in something else, whether that's that their job, whether it's a husband, a father, a future coach. And so the more we can help them um, learn to be great leaders, the more we can make an impact that's going to last a lot longer than just our time with them as a coach.